do you know when to say yes? Yes? What's going on, my friend? Avery Gonzalez here, shooting this quick video for you today because what I have to share with you is something that has absolutely transformed the way that I make choices and decisions uh, in my life, my business, my relationships, and so on and so forth, that has really radically transformed everything that I, that I do and uh, allows me to live a life of more and more magic and ease. So if that's something that you want, make sure you listen closely um, because the question really is, do you know when to say yes? Um, because I know there's a lot of instances that you'll be going and you'll be looking at, uh, let's say, at least two different choices before you, you know, and, and neither of them really feel like a yes. But the thing is, is a lot of people, that's where they stop. And they start doing this weird comparison game where they're like, oh, well, this one might be better than this one, or this one might be better because of this reason. And basically all that that gets you is into a place where you're settling for what you're looking at. Right, because you're looking at two options that really don't work for you in the first place. Because there's somewhere where neither of them are a total yes. Like, you know how when you find that perfect shirt, you know, when you're out shopping, like you see it and you put it on, you try it or whatever, and you, you just look at it and you're like, yes, I'm excited to have this. And you, you put it on, you feel great about it. That's what a total yes is like. But you could also do the same thing where you're like, I gotta have a shirt for this special occasion. And you're looking, 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 and you're not really finding that perfect shirt because none of it really feels like a total yes. So the thing is, anytime you choose something that's not a total yes for you, it's a, it's a compromise or a settling um, of what you could really be having. So I'd encourage you to keep looking when you don't have a total yes. And the other thing that, that could happen when you don't have a total yes is if you're looking at a decision, like let's say, uh, you know, should I, should I move now or later? Or should I take this decision or take this action now, uh, you know, yes or no, and it's not a total yes, it could be a not right now. So that's, that's another possibility is that what you're looking at right now, may, it may not be like the right time for it and it could change in the future, but it's really easy to just ask yourself, okay, is this a total yes for me? And if you feel like light, airy, bubbly inside, and it feels like an easy thing to choose, that's a, that's a total yes for you. If you feel anything other than that, or like a heaviness in your chest or in your body anywhere, that's, that's a no. Because here's the deal. Anything that's not a total yes is a no, or a not right now. So keep that in mind in all your future decisions, all the choices that you have coming your way. I, I reckon you probably make a couple thousand of them every day, whether you realize it or not. And I know that if you're armed, I know that you're armed and dangerous now, right? Different choices, create a different life. And uh, I know you can make the most of this tool. Let me know how it goes and uh, comment below if you had anything come up or any questions about, about this tool. I'd love to hear from you. And as always, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up or share it with your friends on Facebook. And I look forward to chatting with you in the next video. Bye for now.